you're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. What's up, Black and White Sports fans? John Matrix here, and I am back with another video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Also, check out the merch 15% off anything in the merch store. If you use the new discount code now, LaChana Sucks. That is L E C H I N A S U X. Get 15% off that discount code, folks. We're going to be talking about LaChana James again, man. The hits keep on coming for LaChana James. He is being canceled by everybody out there. Everybody. Twitter couldn't defend him. His boy, Shannon Sharp, could not defend him on Undisputed. The biggest LeBron James fan out there. And you guys know how we come on LeBron James on this channel. We find him to be extremely stupid because he is a racist and he is a bigot. And he exposed that for himself, folks. And now everybody's canceling him. Even the woke sports media can't really defend him on this. So, guys, now we actually have an everyday person now, you know, just like me and you, just like Rose Rants. They are now taking a fight to the NBA and to one LaChina James. So that's what we're going to be talking about here in this video, folks. But first, make sure you guys go over to blackandwhitenetwork.com, sign up and become a member today. Two different membership plans. We have the bronze and we have the silver plan. You guys get private videos over there on the website, uncensored. So BitTech can't take us down. And if you're on the silver plan, you actually get more videos and you actually get to be on live streams with me and Rhodes just for the members. And if you can't do any of that right now, just consider giving a one-time donation to help support blackandwhitenetwork.com. With that being said, guys, let's get into this. But going to LaChina James' home state of Ohio, his home state now is fighting back against him and the woke NBA. In Cincinnati, Ohio, folks, a bar owner will not play NBA games ever again. The stipulation is he will when LaChana James is quote unquote expelled from the NBA. Yes, you heard that correct folks. So here it is right here. Cincinnati Bar won't put on NBA games until LeBron James is is expelled. Now it goes on, it says here that uh the owner of a West Side Cincinnati area bar refuses to show NBA games on television anymore over statements LeBron James made about a fatal police shooting of 18 in Columbus. The games can go back on the TVs at Lynn's pub in Delhi Township when James is quote unquote expelled from the league, says bar owner Jay Lemon. The Los Angeles Lakers uh, forward and Ohio native posted a posted on Twitter. Your Nets hashtag accountability with an hourglass emoji. The photo, according to ESPN report, was of a Columbus police officer identified as the person who fired the fatal shot. James later, later deleted the tweet. In a new post, James said anger from anyone is not good, including from himself. Well, LaChina James, man, has been putting out anger, hate and racism out there for the longest time. Now, all of a sudden now he wants to say that anger isn't good. He's been doing that for the longest time, folks. But it goes on, it says Lemon, who announced the no NBA games on TV policy in a Facebook post, said he is tired of all athletes statements. Quote, they just need to play the game. And that's it, he said. Their opinion doesn't really matter. They're using their position to push their opinions. And that's just not right. Lemon said if a high ranking government official of the lights of former President Donald Trump or Joe Biden had made similar statements, there would be calls for impeachment. Well, if it was Trump, man, definitely he would get impeached. You know, he definitely would. Joe Biden seems to get a pass, but I digress, man. But anyway, it is so good and so refreshing to see everyday people now fighting back. The NBA ratings are on the decline. When people actually go to bars, man, when uh, sports is good, a lot of people will actually go, you know, you'll watch uh, NBA games, you watch NFL games. But if you go to this bar now, the NBA is over. 
until LeBron James is expelled. So we know that LeBron James is not going to get it spelled. But however, the woke NBA has not said anything about this. Adam Silver has went completely silent, you know, like this is China or something like he was actually talking about China because we know that the NBA and LaChina James will not actually criticize the CCP and what they're doing to the Uyghurs. So very good to actually see a business owner taking a stand. And the NBA ratings now are at all time lows, all time lows. Fans have already rejected the woke NBA and fans are not coming back to the NBA. LeBron James, I believe this was the final straw and the NBA is only going to go down until he retires. But guys, I'm not exactly sure when LaChina James is going away. He's not going to get it spelled. He's not going to get suspended. He's already injured right now. Nothing's going to happen to him. The, the Lakers have said nothing. Nike has said nothing. Nobody is saying anything about one LaChina James except for us. Us. And of course, you know, the world sports media, they're saying stuff about it. They're not agreeing with LeBron, but they're not criticizing him. They're not doing it all. It's going to take more business owners like this for the NBA to make changes. I said it before, man. The only way that the NBA can actually recover is for LeBron to retire. So I guess, you know, NBA games are not going to be shown at this uh, pub until LeBron James retires. And that'll probably be, what, another three years or so. And by that time, man, the NBA probably probably will be bankrupt. And if they do go bankrupt, and I don't know if they will or not at that point, but they're on the decline. I wouldn't care because they did it to themselves, preaching about how bad this country is. They allow their players to actually speak out so badly about this country. But yet they won't criticize the CCP in China. They're perfectly OK, you know, taking the Chinese dollar. While criticizing this country and everyday Americans now are taking the fight to the woke NBA. But that's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this black and white sports fans? Make sure you guys go over to black and sign up and become a member today. Thanks to everybody that that is actually signed up for memberships and also the people that have donated. We've actually got some pretty good donations to the website. It's really going to help us grow. We really, really do appreciate that, guys. Anyway, let us know what you guys think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports, and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.